the structural systems, building materials, construction techniques, all of that in themselves are also very important for an architect, the craft of architecture. Structure, I have always been very keenly interested in. The structure has a logic in mathematics, and I think mathematics is also almost a kind of a religion, if you like, or spiritual concern to it. I was very interested to keep the views opened up with small gateways and passageways, so you are always curious what is next. The whole idea was that we are in a courtyard, which, uh, you know, it's a very hot day, but it's quite cool in a way because the air flows through these spaces to keep it cool. So these are some lessons which I learned from traditional architecture. It creates a sort of microclimate, so you don't need too much air conditioning. As you can see, the vocabulary of the design is the same, but there is a change in each one of them, and that's very important for me in doing architecture. It's not a dull repetition of each building type. There is a kind of sequence of movements along. The Pragati Medan. It was to be built in a very short time, one year or one, one and a half years time. Once I got very annoyed on the side that they, there was rain, they had all come inside the building and there was cooking there and wall was being spoiled, you know, you wanted the cut shuttering marks or the wood marks to be beautifully kept and they were putting the flame next to it. So I got very angry there and then I realized what a fool I am, you know, people are living here. I mean, I, for the first time, come to the reality of poverty of India, that made me a different man. So I think the architecture of, let's say, humanism, I mean, that we have to work towards to fulfill for them something. I mean, that's what uh, I changed uh, when I got the housing projects, so low-cost housing. I was willing to take on anything to think about what to do for that. What uh, intrigued me very much was that the modernism of the type of Corbusier. Uh, modernism at that time was very sterile, in my opinion. In Europe and everywhere, there was becoming just a box and very, um, what I would say, functionalism at its worst. But Corbusier was functional, was structural, but it had an expression. And that intrigued me, it was powerful expression. I think a building should have a rasa. So whenever I'm designing a building that right from the beginning, I want it to have an expression or, or, a, or a feeling or, or a flavor. Parliament Library gave me a big canvas to do different kind of structure for different kind of uh, spaces which are within the building is the idea of enlightenment, that the library should enlighten the parliament. I wanted the building to be a kind of a guru to the parliament, which is um, uh, the idea of guru is very much there, a wise man who advises in, in Asian all cultures, uh, the king. So I perceive that the parliament is like a king, democratic, consensus is the king today and uh, that the library which is the idea of uh, enlightenment is on uh, connected with it. I'm happy to see many of the younger architects from all over the world who have come here to understand the values of not making blocks but to make buildings which have uh, this low rise high density quality where you meet your neighbors, where the climate and culture. Somehow if they all combine and respect what is the basic expression, it I think holds together. That, at least that's the way I think.